More, we're joined by Thane Rosenbaum, Middle East analyst and distinguished fellow at NYU Law School. Thane, uh, it's great to see you as always. Eric Talk. You know, a couple of interesting takeaways here that kind of go in divergent directions. So you have the Israel, uh, the I-24 News Israel Hayom poll, which shows that Likud is over, it has now been overtaken by blue and white. But the flip side is that Israelis and people polled still seem to think that Netanyahu would be the best choice as leader, as prime minister. So, I mean, should he be worried about this? Yes and no. Uh, well, first of all, remember, both Blue and White and Likud in the April elections actually had more votes. They had more seats. And that means that someone has been the beneficiary of their decline, right? And we know who that is. We know Shaked, who wasn't there at all, is now with the Amina party, shows up in the poll with 10 seats. That's extraordinary. She wasn't in, in it at all in the last election. And uh, uh, Lieberman went from four seats to, to 11 at this point. So that's where the, it has come up. Now, that, they, they were not in the, in the game at all, and neither were the Arab parties, that all of a sudden they're polling at 12 seats in their joint list. So although the numbers look similar to the way it was in April, they're really not. Now, at the end of the day, you're right. Most Israelis still prefer Netanyahu as their next prime minister. At the end of the day, Netanyahu, even though he has fewer votes and Gantz fewer votes, they can't do this without coalition partners. And in the end of the day, for Netanyahu, he's still going to need Lieberman. And the question is, can he rely on Lieberman? He seems to be able to rely on Yamina, that's Shaked's party, Shas, United Torah Judaism. But that leaves him at like 55, 56. He's still four or five seats short. Thane, you know what's interesting? The prime minister today, he did a Facebook Live or a sort of 30-minute um, conversation there on Facebook in which he focused the conversation on Ayala Chaked and her Yamina list. He's not attacking his main rival, Benny Gantz, as often as he attacks other, uh, you know, right-wing parties. What's the strategy here? He, he's saying, you know, that every voter wants to see a right-wing government in Israel needs to vote for Likud. He's more worried about right-wing votes it's, at the moment? It's endlessly befuddling because what he should be doing with Chaked is forming, he's been doing this since April because she's been on the rise he would have been, she would have been the perfect coalition partner. At this point, she's still willing to join a Likud-led coalition to form a mandate. But this is the problem with Netanyahu. He is always worried about who's next. He's worried about, on the right, who is his competitor. Uh, this happens within his own Likud party. This is the reason he didn't get along with Shekhet in the first place. This is the reason why he thinks Lieberman is a betrayer of his, his loyalty. So in the end, it looks like he's trying to find a coalition partner out of blue and white. Blue and white has no interest in being mm. with him. And that the people that he really should be soliciting are the people that he's in fighting with. Very interesting. So very quickly, do you think that there is some validity to Taharet's uh, story this week? That Netanyahu's son had said that Likud would form a government with blue and white, all to stymie Shaked's new right? I, that's mm. where it looks like it's headed. When yeah. you hear what Tal said, this Facebook... It could what? be strategy. It could yeah. be just... But you know. remember... Both Gantz and the officials of Blue and White have denied that they want to be a part of anything with Netanyahu mm. while he's facing these criminal investigations. All right, then, Rosenbaum, thank you for bringing thank it you. down for us.